you're looking for fast, cheap, reliable mug coins, make sure to check out buymugcoins.com. Link in the description. Use code CK for 10% off. From now on, every time the Eagles win, I gotta wear this scarf uh, as, a, as a token of celebration, you feel me? We now four and one, but uh, that has nothing to do with this video, I'm sorry. Today we will be paying homage to one of the best football conferences in all of college football, the SEC, by taking one SEC player from every NFL team. Now I'm gonna go division by division. It's probably gonna be a longer video because I want you guys to see all the different options I could have had, but it was tough to put them all into one team. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So we're gonna start off on defense, looking at this team of the week 90 overall, Tyron Matthew. I could have took Patrick Peterson from LSU or Marcus Golden from Missouri, but I had to use the Honey Badger, man. One of my favorite players. From the Rams, I got this team of the week, Michael Brockers. And you guys are probably mad as hell that I didn't get girly, but I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Look at the coins, man. I could not afford this team of the week card. Also could have gotten Mark Barron from Alabama or Alec Ogletree from Georgia. The Niners legit only had one option, man. Eric Reed is the only guy that played in the SEC that's on the roster. He actually went to LSU. From the Seahawks, I actually pulled this guy from the Gauntlet Unleashed solos last week. So I felt like it was smart as hell to just plug him into the lineup when he fit the criteria for this uh, squad builder. He went to Mississippi State. I uh, could have took Michael Bennett, who went to Texas A&M, Eddie Lacy, who went to Alabama, or Shadow Richardson, who went to Missouri. But I feel like KJ Wright, because he was free, you know, might as well use him, right? Now, the Cowboys had two options. I could have took Jason Witten, who went to Tennessee, but I decided to go with Dak Prescott uh, from Mississippi State. You know, I, I dog on him a lot. I I'm going to give him a chance to prove me wrong in this video. From the Eagles, I had to go with Al Sean Jeffrey from South Carolina. Uh, it's a shame he doesn't have a better card, but we're going to make it work. I also could have took Fletcher Cox, who went to Mississippi State, and Jason Peters, who went to Arkansas. For the Redskins, they had two options as well. One of them was expensive as Jordan Reed from Florida, but I decided to go with DJ Swearinger, free safety from South Carolina. Giants fans, before y'all dislike this video, I don't like crybabies on my team, bro. Like, he was crying during the game. Like, nah, bro, we can't have that anywhere near the the squad bro I, I don't want that on my team so that's why we didn't pick up obj landon collins was a little bit too expensive eli manning i mean we already had a qb so i just went with evan ingram his team of the week card is really nice from the bears there was only two options pernell mcfree from mississippi state or danny trevathan from kentucky so as you can see i took the left outside linebacker lions also had two options one of them was a quarterback unfortunately matt stafford from georgia i decided to go with darius big play slay from mississippi state his card is really nice man Back to the offense we go. I really wanted to take HaHa -Ha Clinton Deasy from Alabama, but I already had a ton of free safeties. He wouldn't have got any playing time, so I decided to go with Randall Cobb from Kentucky. I also could have got Martellus Bennett from Texas A&M. The Vikings only had one option, man. Daniil Hunter from LSU. From the Falcons, we did take Jones, but not the Jones you're thinking of. I took Deion Jones, 85 MLB from LSU. I could have taken Julio Jones from Alabama, but the way my coins are set up, that was not going to happen. Also could have took Keanu Neal, strong safety from Florida, but I always like having a good user MOB. Behind him, we have Thomas Davis from Georgia, representing the Panthers. I could have took Captain Munderland from South Carolina, Charles Johnson from Georgia, and obviously Cam Newton from Auburn, but I've had so many game plays with Cam already this year that I just had to switch it up. From the Saints, we had three options, Mark Ingram from Bama, Delvin Brew from LSU, and then the one we actually went with Alvin Kamara, 79 overall team of the week virgin from Tennessee. He has really nice speed. That's pretty much why I decided to take him. I really wanted to try out this card, so I had to go with him for the squad builder. Vernon Hargraves III from Florida, representing the Buccaneers. I also could have took Mike Evans from Texas A&M, but I have some really nice receivers. Uh, cornerback, I knew we were going to struggle a little bit with filling out that position, so I had to get one that's really nice. Quan Alexander from LSU was also another option. Bills fans, I'm not going to be cheap right now. I'm actually going to splurge for one of your better D-tackles, if not your best D-tackle, Marcel Darius. Kyle Williams was the backup option option he went to LSU EJ Gaines from Missouri and Jordan Matthews from Vanderbilt but I think uh, Marcel Darius is easily the best option it's a miracle I was actually not cheap for once I took Jarvis Juice Landry 88 overall representing the Miami Dolphins and LSU the only other option for the Dolphins was Rashad Jones strong safety from Georgia for the Patriots I had to be smart use one of my free cards Stephon Gilmore he fits the criteria
care, man. He went to South Carolina. I could have took Dante Hightower, but I already had a nice user MLB. And then Trey Flowers. The Jets only had one option, Morris Claiborne from LSU. Now, Broncos fans, please just understand my situation. Von Miller, 500K. You guys already see how expensive this team is, right? Like, come on, bro. You, you can't be mad at me for not getting him. Also, could have took Darian Stort from South Carolina, but I decided to go with right outside linebacker Shane Ray from Missouri. Once again, I splurged on a card. Eric Berry from Tennessee representing the Chiefs, man. Hopefully, he gets better and comes back even stronger next year. I could have took right end Chris Jones from Mississippi State, Spencer Ware from LSU, Benny Logan from LSU, and also Justin Houston from Georgia, but I mean, you can't go wrong with Eric Berry. I know some Chargers fans gonna be mad at me for this, but you guys only had two options, and one of them is Hunter Henry, who's actually gonna be starting for us at tight end, so y'all really can't be mad that I didn't go with Melvin Ingram from South Carolina. Raiders had three options. One of them was Jared Cook from South Carolina, Reggie Nelson from Florida, and Amari Cooper, who we actually went with from Alabama. Ravens are gonna be represented by CJ Mosley, also from Alabama, man. They produce so much NFL talent, it's crazy. Benjamin Watson from Georgia was another option. Jeremy Macklin from Missouri was another option. And last but not least, Mike Wallace from Ole Miss. Bengals fans, please don't be mad, bro. I did not get AJ Green from Georgia or Geno Atkins from Georgia. I went with Jeremy Hill, who's gonna get a lot of playing time, a lot of touches, I promise. I also could have went with Carlos Dunlap from Florida, but I need another running back. Miles Garrett representing Texas A&M was the only option from the Browns. Steelers had two options. One of them was Bud Dupree, left outside linebacker from Kentucky, but I decided to go with this chemistry, Joe Hayden from Florida. Now the Texans, I actually got their best player, man, so y'all can't be mad at me. Jadeveon Clown. County, South Carolina is going to be starting at the right end. Also could have went with Bernardrick McKinney from Mississippi State, Jonathan Joseph from South Carolina, or Andre Hall from Vandy. Colts were another team that only had one option, man. Dante Moncrief from Ole Miss. Jaguars was either get Malik Jackson from Tennessee or go with Leonard Fournette from LSU, so I had to go with Fournette. And last but not least, I spent like 50k on this car, so y'all can't be mad that he's a fullback. He's probably the best fullback in the NFL right now. Justin Fowler representing the Titans and also could have went with Wesley Woodyard from Kentucky. So there you have it. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job taking one SEC player from every NFL team? Let me know what your teams will look like. Send it to me on Twitter, man. I, I really want to see it. I, I want to see if I could have done a better job. I know I've been a little bit cheap, but let's be honest. Use your actual coins that you have in much and build a squad. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to start out like a savage and air this ball out. All right, maybe that's not really a savage thing to do. It's just the normal thing to do. Let's go R1 wide open. Oh, Dak, come on, man. Let's try this again, man. Take number two. This time I'm going to PA end around. Pretty much same concept as the last play. Uh, let's see if he can get someone open in the flats. X is... Oh, my... Yo, what is going on? I've never seen two terrible passes in a row like that. And trust me, I'm not doing this on purpose, man. I actually want to freaking win. Uh, right now, it's not looking good, though. Let's see what we're looking for. Circle wide open. That's what I'm talking about. Amari Cooper gets the catch. Running some play action this time. He's creeping up. Everyone to the line of scrimmage. Oh, X is wide open. Let's go, man. Just give it to him. Hunter Henry getting a nice game. Big third and seven. He's disrespecting my run game like I have Jeremy Hill. You cannot just disrespect me like that, dog. I'm running the ball. Look at all these pancakes. Jeremy Hill getting the first down. Nice run. I'm loving this formation. Why not stick with it? First and 10. He's going to man defense, which means we have Cobb wide open. Open. we're down inside the 10 but unfortunately you guys know i always tend to struggle near the goal line third and goal i'm going to wide trail i think we can get a touchdown here our one wide open Dak with a bullet what a drive time to see what this offense could do he has a Dak prescott of his own lamar miller so it seemed not terrible like he has playmakers bro oh my goodness first play no clowny Thank you for saving that touchdown. Clowney is way too nice, bro. He looked like a linebacker. Oh, he is a linebacker. Who's man's? All right, here comes the play action. Oh, my goodness. He's going right to me. Beautiful interception. That's why I got Deion Jones. That is why I got Deion freaking Jones, man. Falcons fans, y'all can't be mad I didn't get Julio. All right, my opponent's back on offense, moving once again. This time, he's across midfield already. Uh, can we get this stop? Here comes the run. Oh, my God. He got me. But Clowney got him. Wait till you see the... <laughs> oh, God. He, he, he quick hiked me. No. All right. You a scumbag, bro. You are a scumbag for that. I guess we playing dirty, huh? Second and six. I got Leonard Fournette in for the first time. He's going to try to make something happen. Let's go, baby. Ooh, the blocks are looking amazing. Fournette off to the races, baby, on his first carry. 
Oh, he still. What? I thought the play stopped. I'm tripping. We about to score on this play. Just watch greatness. Oh, actually, that gonna take off, bro. You can't forget about Dak Prescott's wheels. Second and inch is gonna run some play action. He's creeping up everybody, man. We might have an easy touchdown right here, folks. We might have an easy touchdown. Evan Ingram with the tiptoe catch. I'm trying to do my best to get every single player involved right here. This time, I might be going to Jostin Fowler on first and goal. Let's see. Oh. He's wide open. Justin Fowler cannot get in. Damn it. We got ourselves a third and goal on the one yard line. And uh, I think I'm going to go to the toss, man. If we can get some nice blocks, we should be okay. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. Alvin Kamara going to give us a two possession lead. Less than two minutes now in the first half. He's going to be trying to put together a nice little drive, but we cannot let that happen. Cloudy with another sack. He's too nice. I know Texans fans got to be feeling pretty sad after JJ Watt went out. And it's probably done for the season, but you guys have another mind and Jadeveon Clowney and also Deshaun Watson who's a freaking animal oh he tried to test me Deion Jones with a nice deflection but yeah man as I was saying Deshaun Watson absolute animal I think that's back-to-back -back five touchdown games or something crazy like that I don't know man the guy's a stud I actually have him in fantasy yeah uh, uh he helped me a lot Darius oh you gotta catch that bro it was right there that's gonna bring up fourth and 20 man if we can get this stop it might be GG boys here he goes on a play action once again. I know what he's looking for. He's going to Darius Slay. It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. How did he catch that? Not too happy after that, man. But he still has to get into the end zone. Less than 30 seconds now. And he only has one timeout, man. I feel like we can get this stop. I really do. I really do. Oh, Gilmore catch the ball. Why is everyone dropping it? Good news is he has no more timeouts. Only 12 seconds left. If we can get a sack, uh, it's going to be tough for him to kick the field goal. Okay, let's go. No, Barry. You better than that, bro. Oh, my God. Amari Cooper at the end of the half. Thank you, EA guys, for repaying me. Let's go. Honestly, cannot ask for a better end to the half, man. After giving up a long touchdown drive, Dak Prescott finds Amari Cooper on the last play of the half and gets a touchdown, man. Just amazing. But honestly, the defense is kind of disappointing ever since that pick six by Deion Jones, man. We have not been able to stop him at all. Like, he's moving at will right here. Okay, nice tackle by Gilmore. However, we do have a chance to get off the field right here. Fourth and 15, please, EA. Do not give him another beautiful pass and catch, please. Can we get a stop this time? Let's go. So that's going to wrap up this game. I know I only did one game in this video, but I will be doing another video with this squad and probably versus another YouTuber. I think Texas boy is going to do the ACC or something like that. If not, I'll find another guy and we're going to do a collab, man. I want to play more games with this squad. So if you're ready for that and you want to see it with the quickness, please like the video. Also, subscribe if you're new around here. And as for me, gotta run when I get a bird call. Damn, hop in that thing and murk off, swerve off.